Hillsborough County building inspectors told their boss in a meeting that they're concerned about work overload, low pay, and training. That meeting took place more than three weeks ago, but only now is the county coughing up documents to aid on your side showing what was discussed in the meeting. Senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews joins us now with what he's learned and what was with the delay, Steve? Well, Stacy, quite honestly, Hillsborough County played games. It toyed with the government and the Sunshine Law. After a three-week dance that involved our lawyers cutting in, the county finally handed over some employees' notes from a June 25th meeting. The notes show building inspectors expressed a number of concerns, especially about workload, to their boss, Adam Gormley. These notes of the June 25th meeting taken by a South County office manager state inspectors unable to perform thorough inspections. That differs greatly from what Gormley told Eight on Your Side the day before. Are there quality inspections being done or are they rushed? I believe the quality inspections are being done. We're not getting any uh, feedback or concerns about the quality of the inspections that are being performed by our inspectors. One plan review examiner's notes say, we're told that training for our section is not necessary. Another set of meeting notes says, code training denied. And what kind of training do your inspectors receive? They typically receive uh, training in um, the relevant codes for their area for their trade area. Earlier this month, Eight on Your Side disclosed the county hired three companies to conduct inspections, paying up to three times what Hillsborough pays its own inspectors. Following our reports, we received several emails challenging Eight on Your Side to tell the whole story. Basically, they said if you add the wages and benefits government employees receive, it'll probably come to about what the county is paying private providers. Well, we did. And it doesn't. With all the benefits added in, the county's own figures show it's paying these companies at least $12 an hour more than it does its highest paid inspector. Meeting notes also show private providers offering better pay than the county, and almost every inspector has been offered a position by a contract provider. Bottom line, the county's paying a lot more for private providers to do inspections than it is paying its own people, benefits included. Now, the three contracts total up to about $530,000 a year. A $20 an hour employee with benefits costs the county about $56,000 a year. Okay. You can do the math. Right, that speaks for itself, so it doesn't make any sense. Why doesn't the county save some money and just hire more inspectors? Well, the county claims it doesn't want to hire more people because if the economy slows, it may end up laying some folks off. However, it's used private contractors for years. And you know, reducing the size of government always sounds good until you take a look at the figures. Then it doesn't look so hot. And now, in this case, you've pointed that out clearly. Yeah. All right, thanks, sure. Steve.